What's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, as you guys can see on the screen, the Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly banner is going to be going away in about 6 days and 10 hours from now, or roughly in about a week, which also coincides with the end of the Saiyan Day celebration. So recently, a lot of people have been asking me what I expect the uh, next you know, global campaign to look like, what kind of banners are we going to be getting, what kind of events, and so on and so forth. Now obviously, I don't know for sure, I don't have any kind of inside information, so definitely keep that in mind, I could be wrong about all this, but based on my educated guesses and research, um, I do expect that the next global campaign is going to look very similar to the New Year's campaign that JP players got a couple of months ago, and that means we should be getting a brand new Dual Dokkan Fest featuring the Tech Super Janemba and the AGL PyCon. Now, of course, it could be something completely different. They might give us the Fizz Kid Super Saiyan Goten and Super Saiyan Trunks early, or maybe they could throw us a curveball and give us a global first. Anything is possible, but I think the most likely option, I guess, would be PyCon and Janemba Dual Dokkan Fest. Okay, now popping back to the uh, event page here, we're gonna scroll down a little bit. Of course, things like the New Year's Dual Dokkan Fest, or rather, uh, New Year's Dokkan Festival or Step Up Banner is not gonna be happening now because it's not New Year's and yeah, it's just not gonna happen. We're not gonna get a Step Up Banner randomly in the middle of the year. Although, it would be awesome. I just don't see it happening, so just ignore that. We also have uh, a login bonus. It's not going to be called a New Year's login bonus. It's going to be called something else, but there will be a login bonus. As always, there will be uh, special missions. And of course, here's the Dual Dokkan Fest with PyCon and Janemba. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail about how good these guys are. I mean, they are good. And I'm not going to talk too much about their banners right now because, once again, there's a possibility that we get something else. So I don't want to spend like too much time digging into them and like giving you guys a analysis if uh, they're not actually coming right now, right? So we'll wait a little bit, we'll wait for, you know, the in-game reveal or whatever, or in-game notice, and then we'll talk about whether or not they're worth summoning for. But from there, there's gonna be a Elder Kai banner, there always is. There will be a stone sale, uh, of course, new Dokkan events for both PyCon and Janemba. Uh, all Dokkan events should be available every single day. Maybe not, actually. This could be something that's only for the New Year's campaign. So this might not be a thing, but I don't think it's really a huge deal either way. We will be getting a new story event because it's related to the Gogeta movie. And this uh, story event will give us a brand new uh, AGL free to play Veku, which is kind of cool. So here is the story event. There are, let's see, seven stages, two dragon stones per stage, so 14 stones for just clearing the actual event. And then you can farm the Veku in stage 6, and this Veku is, I mean, honestly, he's not the greatest. He is more of a just fun collector's item, in my opinion, and um, I mean, if you guys want the details now, actually, I can just quickly go over what he does. So this Veku, insane 30 minutes, uh, leader skill, fusion category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, lucky punch, high chance of massively raising attack for one turn, which is a 50% Increase to his super attack multiplier, causes supreme damage, and attack, or sorry, a passive is attack plus 150%, defense plus 50%, and then attack minus 10% with each turn passed up to minus 50%, medium chance of performing a critical hit when performing a super attack, and then defense and chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attacks, plus 10% with each attack received up to 50%. So this guy's kind of like all over the place. Like he does get a good attack boost in the beginning. He can get uh, a lot more attack on a super attack. And then um, he loses attack every turn, but he also gains chance of evading or evasion chance and also defense with each attack received. So, um, you know, like he's not amazing. I wouldn't use him a ton, but he's kind of fun. I guess kind of a fun unit to run and everybody loves Veku, right? So. Uh, yeah, we're going to be getting him kind of excited, not going to lie. So that's the new story events. And then, uh, of course, we'll be getting this story event coming back. 
the other world story events, the legendary challenge campaign for LR Curlin. I made a separate video just talking about all the details for this campaign. If you guys haven't seen it yet, feel free to go check it out. Uh, we just go over like, you know, what the returning events are, what the rewards are, all that stuff. Okay, so if you guys haven't gotten your Krillin done yet, then make sure to go check out that video. There will also be a brand new Prime Battle event. Okay, so this Prime Battle is for LR Boo and Bobbity, and uh, they're really good. They're really, really good. I'm excited for this. It's going to be something that takes quite a bit of time to grind like these normally do. I think the LR Krillin took me about eight hours in total. It was like one stream, one continuous stream from start to finish, eight hours in total. I expect the same for these guys. And uh, I'm not gonna go into exactly what they do right now because that's like, you know, gonna take a while, but expect these guys to be dropping with the next campaign, okay? Once again, I could be wrong, so keep that in mind, okay? Like they might not give this to us now, but I think there's a pretty decent chance uh, Extreme Super Battle Road available every day. Uh, I don't believe they got any new stages here. Could we get new stages? Maybe. Maybe. Not super hopeful though, because I feel like they want to save those for like a bigger celebration. But we'll see. Okay, so Extreme Super Battle Road available every day. Super Battle Road available every day. New Ultimate Clash. Of course, we're due for one because the current one's about to run up. So we'll definitely get a new Ultimate Clash. Possibly Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts. Definitely. A new Extreme Z battle, STR Janemba seems like a pretty good option right now. So yeah, I'm expecting the STR Janemba Extreme Z battle, Extreme Z Awakening. Here's the banner with the blue cow and Goku. And then we have the category summon, of course, for Fusion, which uh, is the weakness for the Janemba uh, Extreme Z battle event. And then some other, you know, story events coming back, Dynamic. I mean, these ones could be different, actually. So uh, we're not going to pay too much attention to this right now. And then uh, JP actually also had a Weekend Summon and another Extreme Z battle. Okay, they had Extreme Z Awakenings for the Fizz Vegeta and Tech Kaoken Goku. Now, will these guys get Extreme Z Awakenings for the next campaign on Global? Possibly. But I think this might be a little bit less likely because um, I think the reason they gave JP so much stuff around this time was because it was a dual Tokon Fest because more... Uh, importantly, it was the New Year's celebration, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get this Extreme Z battle for now. They might push it to the next campaign, but still give us a new Dokkan Fest Extreme Z battle. So I think that the Janemba one is pretty much a lock. I think this one's, this one's coming for sure for the next campaign. But in terms of the Kaken Goku and, uh, you know, Fizz Vegeta... Um, a bit of a toss-up. It might come, it might not, but uh, it's definitely on the horizon for sure. Either the next campaign or the campaign after that. And is there anything else here? Oh, Explosive Chain Battle versus Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta. Not happening, because obviously we just got a new Chain Battle for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and that is going to be, you know, still going on. Actually, no, uh, it should be ending right before the new campaign, but we only get one Explosive Chain Battle every single month, so... Don't expect another one this soon, uh, is what I'm trying to say. So that is essentially what we can look forward to, guys. PyCon and Janemba Dual Dokkan Fest, Extreme Z Battle for SDR Janemba, um, new story event with the Veku, and, uh, you know, new Ultimate Clash, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle, available everything, uh, every single day. I'm trying to talk too fast right now. New Prime Battle event for LR Boo and Bobbity. I hope this is coming. Fingers crossed. I, I really hope this is coming. I mean, there's always a chance that they switch things out, right? Like, not every single campaign when it comes to global is the same. They like to, you know, kind of move things around sometimes. So nothing's really guaranteed, but I'm really hoping for this as well. And uh, that's it, guys. That is pretty much the little preview here for my global players. Look forward to the Dual Dokkan Fest. Look forward to the Prime Battle, Extreme Z battle for for Janemba and I don't know maybe Hercules heart pounding gifts maybe some golden weekend missions just for some extra dragon stones those are always nice and uh that's all I really gotta say hopefully we hit top grossing I mean JP did JP hit top grossing got the 30 stones got their you know orbs and all that stuff uh at this point I'm not super hopeful like I always 
obviously wish that we get top grossing for every banner, but it's been getting harder and harder every single time, it feels like, because... I don't know, in my opinion, I think the interest in Dokkan is waning a little bit. Of course, when it comes to the anniversary, everybody's gonna come back again, but... More and more people these days, man, when like, I'm streaming Dokkan and stuff like that, are telling me, like... They're, you know, taking a break from the game, they're, they're playing other games more, all that stuff. So, I don't exactly know... Yeah, what's gonna happen with Dokkan in the coming years. Hopefully, we still stick around. I'm, look... That's a different topic for a different video. I don't think, don't get me wrong, I'm, I don't think the game's going away anytime soon. It's just when it comes to top grossing, it seems like it's like less and less likely every single time that we're hitting top grossing for, for new banners. Uh, hopefully this Duel Dolgon Fest will get the job done, at least for one or two regions. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, guys, enough rambling from me. That is the preview. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys uh, hope we get, and uh, are you excited for the Janemba and PyCon? Will you be summoning? Will you be saving for the anniversary? All that good stuff. Let me know, okay? So that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. Oh, by the way, um, quick reminder, we will be doing more Kekaras streams coming up. If you guys haven't been following those, the next one should be very good. I know this is totally random, but we are going to get to the Majin Vegeta stuff in the next Kekaras stream. So if you guys want to see that, then definitely keep an eye out for that scheduled stream. And uh, yeah, guys, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.